Hey, how are you guys? My name is Harrison Marion, I'm an entrepreneur. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you guys about why your Wix website is probably failing. And the reasons why it's failing might actually surprise you. Now, I run an agency called Growth Generators. We built about 150 websites in the last year and a half. And a lot of them have been succeeding, and not all of them have succeeded, though. And that's the hard truth that we have to have with people. But it's not because of the efforts that we do. We actually make sure that we take into consideration best practices. So making sure that your SEO is done, your heading tags are done correctly, making sure that you're set up as well as possible for success on any new website that we're building and realistically any website we touch. It's just common practice. I feel very guilty when we send a website out the door that is not complete. So I put a complete squash on that and any website we touch gets a full makeover as far as getting your SEO and getting found online. So that way I can give you the best possible chances when it comes to your website. So you're probably thinking, how does this all matter? Why does it even matter to my website? Well, I wanna share with you guys some of the things that I've learned as to why people's websites are failing and then why the most successful ones, the 10,000, 20,000, $50,000 per month ones are succeeding by a lot, by like a huge margin, right? Because it's either failure, some of them make a couple hundred bucks, but those even still end up going to failure. It's the ones that go into the thousands of dollars that really end up succeeding. So I wanna show with you guys the exact process that you should start going through when you're building your Wix websites, or at least after you've gotten your Wix website built, that you can do to start getting that kind of traffic of people that can buy. Now, if you've been on this channel for a while, you've probably seen some of this math that I'm about to do, but if you haven't been on this channel for, the while, for a while and this is your first video, you need to stick around because this math is going to blow your mind. So I'm gonna pull up my whiteboard here and I'm gonna share with you guys the process that we use when we're building websites. Now, a lot of our websites typically will have several thousand visitors per month in the tens of thousands sometimes. Some websites will be into the millions of impressions per year and this all comes down to the same principles, the same pro the same premises on every single one. So down here, we're just gonna draw a little square and this is gonna be your website. Right, your website, it's cool. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're selling e-commerce, it doesn't matter if you're selling SaaS, HaaS, it doesn't matter if you're selling services, local services, it really doesn't matter what you're doing. But here's the thing, most people just think, hey, your website is just gonna magically get traffic, and that's not the case. Now you can do what a lot of business owners do, where they go out and they go network, and that does work to some degree, but honestly, that's usually not the case. That's only moderately effective at best. So what most people don't do is they don't plan on the fact that they're either going to need to run ads or they're going to need to get some organic traffic. So you've probably seen a sales funnel by now, but you'll have your standard sales funnel. It'll come down here. And then ultimately, we all know that at the bottom of that funnel, typically there's money, right? And you have to get this person up here, aka me, to go through this funnel and you have to get them right down to the bottom so they start spending money. Now, somebody that spends money with you is exponentially more likely to spend more money with you than somebody who never spent money with you. Keep that in mind, that is a very, very important premise right there. Now, what most people don't do is they don't even get any visitors to the website, quite honestly, because they don't understand how to get visitors to the website. And I totally, totally understand that. It's super frustrating, trust me, been there, it stinks. When I was first learning SEO and building content and content marketing and how to drive traffic and tra paid traffic versus free traffic, it was a lot, I mean a lot of information. There's probably too much information out there. So your main goal is to get people to visit your website. But what does your website actually provide to those people, right? Do they have any reason to be there? Think about that for a second. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but you're like, well, yeah, I sell the nicest products. But do you though? Do you? Now, I'm not saying, and I'm not knocking your products. They might be the nicest products. But here's the catch that most people never think about. You could sell the nicest thing in the world, but that doesn't mean people are gonna visit. You need to give them a reason why they should visit. So some of the common ways that people start to get visitors to their website is if we're just gonna rebuild this funnel here and we're just gonna put at the bottom of it your website, right? Because theoretically, the more people that you get, the more visitors you get to your website, the more money you can make. And this is the general principle of it. So you need to get me to at least visit your website, let alone make a sale. And those ways that they can come in are typically gonna be a handful of different options. Those are gonna be blogs, right? Because you probably know something that these people don't know, whether it's how to make the product that you're making, how that product can be valuable, maybe it's education behind that product. There's a lot of people that make accessories for hair. 
Well, why would somebody want to buy an accessory for your hair? Is it to look good? Well, give me some ideas on why it should look good. Maybe it's your YouTube channel. As you're watching here, YouTube is a phenomenal way to drive traffic. I don't get that much traffic to my main website from YouTube yet, but it seems to be growing month after month, and I'm ecstatic about that. So you have your blog, you have your YouTube channel, but how else can you get people there? Now, I like social media, but the problem with social media is you have to do that every single day. And quite honestly, when you go into business, who wants to work every single day? It's a lot of work, right? I'd rather work a lot in the beginning and then kind of coast off and maintain for a long period of time. And that's kind of what I'm doing with this YouTube channel, building up a ton of content in the beginning. And then I plan after a little while and start to really get its, get its legs to calm down. I don't need to do a video every day, although I do happen to enjoy it. So you have blogs, YouTube, social media. There's also podcasting up here. That was supposed to be a box and I started to write a P. Podcasting. You'll have other things. Maybe it's guest appearances, guest appearances. And all of these areas are going to drive people right through your funnel because they already are curious to know about the information that you can provide them, right? That's ultimately what you want to do. So Blogging, YouTube, social media, podcasting, and guest appearances. So when I say guest appearances, that could be TV, that could be on other YouTube channels, that could be on other people's blogs, that could be on other, really any outlet where there's media being expelled is a great way to get a guest appearance on there. Now, once you start to get these people, how are you going to convert them? What reason do they have to actually stay there or shop or buy anything? What most people I realize don't have on their website, and I can't force people to do this, is when you load your website, there should be a little box that pops up. This is called a light box. I'm sure you've probably seen it in, in there. And this light box can then say, hey, here's 20% off your first order, or 30% off, or if you really want to get crazy, 50% off your first order, if you give me your email address. Now, why is that email address important? Well, once you get an email address, that you own that email address, right? That person has voluntarily given you their contact information, in this case, their email address. You can then begin to email market to these people. And as time goes on, you're gonna to start to build a list. So you might be thinking, well, now those numbers that I was about to speak about earlier make sense, right? The more people you can get to your website, let's just say you can get 1,000 people to your website every single month, 12,000 people per year. Out of those 1,000 people, right? This is not including sales, although sales will come from this you want to get approximately 10% of those as email addresses, right? Because 1,000 people, that's 100 email addresses. Keep in mind, this is happening month after month. Now, when you get 100 email addresses every single month, you can then begin to offer or make offers and make sales. So out of that 100 people, you're going to look or strive for between a 1% to 2% conversion rate or sales rate out of that 100. Now you might be thinking, well, Harrison, that seems kind of ridiculous. I got to get a thousand people to my website to make two sales. Yes, but here's the thing. If you do any of these, blogging, YouTube, social media, podcasting, none of them cost you money. That's the benefit of it. So you're going to do all of these actions. You're going to write a blog. You're going to make a YouTube video. You're going to post on social media. You're going to do guest appearances. You might even start a podcast or be a guest on somebody else's podcast, right? You can start a podcast nowadays with your cell phone. There's no excuse to not be able to start a podcast as long as it's an entertaining, good podcast. You get a thousand people to your website, you get a hundred email addresses, and you make one to 2% of sales. Now this sounds moderately interesting. Okay, Harrison's two sales. Okay, well, how many sales were you getting before this video? Was it at least two? If it wasn't, then you definitely need to take action right after this video ends. But the cool part is, is next month, you're gonna get another thousand email addresses, or better yet, thousand visitors. And out of those thousand visitors, you're gonna collect another 10% of those email addresses. So now you have 200 people, pretty cool. And if you can get out of that 200 people, maybe it's people that have already bought or people that have just weren't ready at the time, if you can get 2% of those people to then buy, you're talking about, for sales. I think you can see where this is going, right? Because month after month, you're going to have 1,200 people-ish on your email chain. If you can get 2% of those people, that's supposed to be a 2, 2% of those people, you're looking at, I don't know, 48 sales, if I'm doing my math correctly. Now, what is a sale actually worth to you? Well, how much money are you making? 48 sales might sound like, well, that's not enough money, 
But if you're making $10 profit on each one of these sales, that's $480 in profit that you are now making. Now, is that enough to jump out of bed in the morning? For some people, it may be. For other people, it might not be. But $480 per year on your website that only costs you maybe 150 bucks for the year is some good profit, right? Now think about this. You go into your second year and now you have, now you're gonna double that number. As long as you keep building traffic, you're, you're getting at least a thousand visitors and you're trying to convert this to at least 10% and 2%, right? You're talking about almost a thousand sales, just shy of a thousand sales, right? And if we just add some basic math here, that's $10,000 in two years, right? That's an extra five grand per year. Sounds kind of ridiculous, but that's the case, right? You you have $480 in here. You're going to do another 2,400, right? You're going to do another, you're going to do almost a hundred sales on here, right? A hundred, did I do the math wrong? I might've done the math wrong. It might be a thousand. I apologize, guys. It's still a thousand dollars. That's pretty good. But now here's where it gets really crazy is when you start to do the math and you start to get a little carried away and you're starting to build traffic. So it's still a thousand bucks. I'm sorry. I, I, 10,000 was a little overzealous, but honestly it grows exponentially. I'm just using basic numbers here. If you could get it where you get, maybe it's 2000 people per month, right? After two, three months, now you are up to 2000 people. Then you increase this to 15%. Right, so now it's 20, I don't even know what 15% of 2000 is. Let's just go 20% here, so my math is nice and simple. But if you can get 20% of these people to give you an email address, you were talking about 40 emails? Sorry, 400 emails. I don't know why I can't do math right now. And out of those 400 people, if you can get 2% of those sales, I mean, that's really where the, where the magic happens here. Because each month, month after month, you're gonna be getting more and more clicks, theoretically, if you're doing something right. So that means you're making good YouTube videos, you're making good blogs, you're making good social media posts. And this is the process that most people don't go through. This is called content marketing. I have a ton of content about this, but this is the process that you can go through. Now, now 400 email addresses in that period is probably a little overzealous, but just think about it, right? If you could do 400, 400 emails, even if you get 1% of those emails, you're talking about four more sales every single month, up to eight new sales. That is 40 to $80. That's supposed to be an arrow. 40 to $80 every single month on what? On something that didn't cost you any additional money. And that's the magic of it. The more people that you can get visiting your website, the higher chance you are to get their email addresses. And the more emails that you send them to try to sell them something means more revenue in your pocket. And this is what people on Wix typically aren't doing. And I say Wix, I group that in with Wix, Squarespace, all of the, the main website builders. There's no strategy behind it. There's no way to drive traffic. There's no way to really build in here this system where you're starting to drive traffic. Now, how do you actually get consistent traffic, right? You can't just do all these things once. You can't just write one blog post. You can't write, you can't make one YouTube video. You can't make one social media post. This is something you have to do on a regular basis. But here's the nice part. You're not taking money out of your homemade wallet. That's what you're not doing. You're not spending money aimlessly. You're creating content that doesn't cost you any money, right? If you want to make a YouTube video, trust me, this camera on your iPhone or your Android is way better than anything that you're going to buy for under a thousand bucks. That's just how it goes, right? You can have a GoPro. I have one sitting right here. It takes good video, but the camera on your cell phone is actually really, really good. And the microphones are great too. Go sit in a quiet room and educate your buyers about what you do, how you do it, and different ways that they could use your products and different solutions that it provides, right? Well, if you're selling cups or you're selling mugs, right? How to make custom made cups. Just because you showed somebody how to make a custom made cup doesn't mean they're gonna go make it themselves. Trust me, I watch I watch more videos than I could ever count on hardware. When I say hardware, I mean like power tools and gadgets and gizmos. And guess what? I don't own any of them. Just purely out of the fact that I just don't need them. I don't need them in my house. I don't need them in my apartment. I just, there's no use for them, but I like seeing it. And if I was curious to know how to buy it, I would just go visit their their website, their way of purchasing it. I see this all the time online. It works so, so, so well. Just drive traffic through organic means, 
create a blog, YouTube, anything like that, and then you will be able to start getting traffic. Now, if you guys need help with this, check the links below. I am in the process of putting together a course. By the time you actually see this, that course should be out or at least a sign-up sheet if you're interested. And this will dramatically help you grow online, get the results you're looking for, and at least start to get to that thousand visitor per month area where then you can actually test, hey, what offers are working? What offers aren't working? And dial in. Maybe that 10 goes to 15%. Maybe that 1% or 2% goes to 5%, right? These are super basic and super generic numbers. Everybody case, everybody's cases are going to vary tremendously. We have people that get, I have worked with a customer right now, they get about 300 clicks per month and they're getting one lead per day. That lead is worth 500 plus dollars. I've, I've paid for my agency for years to come now because we wrote a bunch of content for them. That is the power of it. So it varies tremendously. He's only, he only gets about 250 to 300 visitors per month and he converts 10% of them. And that 10%, that's conversion at 10%. That's crazy. I mean, he's money hand over fist. So go create content that people enjoy, that people read, that people like reading. And that content is going to work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week while you sleep. I see his emails. I see his requests. I see his notifications. And he is getting emails and, and contact requests at 1 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the afternoon all hours of the day and he did not have to do anything for it. Now, granted, he is paying my agency to do that, but I have plenty of clients to do it themselves and get incredible results. I just happen to see what's going on with his website. This is the premise of content marketing. This is how you drive more traffic to your Wix website and give it the best possible chance of success. And every website's different. Every conversion rate's different. Every email opt-in is different. So I hope you guys found value in this. Go check those links down below. Uh, if you guys do need help, growth-generators.com. That's my agency. Feel free to reach out if you guys have questions, comments, concerns. I'll see you guys later. Hit that like button, subscribe button, put a notification bell.